Hey guys, I'm Dr. McFarland and I'm currently working on a project that needs some tempo alignment, if you will. And I'm here at the end of the song. And what I did was I played through the song at an even tempo at 74 beats per minute. But at the end, I did a retardando, which I naturally slowed down. And I want to now line up some MIDI to that performance. And the easiest way to do that is just to go ahead and do a tempo map of the ending here. So when I drag in the piano MIDI, those measures will now line up. All right. So what we're going to do is you can see we have a tempo marker right here. We can actually delete that. And the first thing we need to do is we need to go to project settings and change something. But let me show you something right now. So if I go to the BPM tempo right up here and I actually change the tempo, you can see that the audio goes back and forth and it's actually changing the tempo a little bit. We don't want to do that right now. We need to go to project settings and we want to change this from beats to time on both the time base for items, envelopes and markers and time base for tempo time signature envelope. Okay. We're going to go ahead and press okay. And now when I change the tempo up here, you can see that the lines change, but the audio doesn't stretch back and forth. All right, so what we're gonna do, since there's already a time marker right here, so we're gonna go here to the very end, just where we need to work. And we know this one is already on beat. All right, so let's just listen to what we have. All right, so you can hear that it's naturally slowing down a little bit. So I'm going to say that, see, this is more like, you know, in the middle of the beat two. So here's the downbeat of beat three. So let's go to the actual downbeat here. So here's the beginning of the measure. Okay, so this needs to be on beat two, and this needs to be on beat three, if possible. Okay, and just to give the right tempo change. So this one looks about correct, but we're going to change this tempo right here. So let's go ahead. Let's do shift C. That's going to bring up our tempo time signature marker. And we're going to just put a time marker right there. And that's fine. Click on that. And then we can just change this marker to where we want the downbeat of this measure to be right here. Now, because there are some two, four measures in this song, the way the measures actually line up with the downbeats according to the music is actually two beats off. So that's why this downbeat is actually a beat two or beat whatever it is. Okay. So that part lines up. And now that we know that one lines up, we're going to do shift C again and see that it's set to 73 beats per minute. So we're slowly slowing down here. And let's go ahead and play again. Okay, so what would happen if we slowed this down to where this was on beat two? We do need to click on that. Let's drag this out the beat two. Let's go about right there. So we went from 73 all the way down to 61. Let's check that out. Okay, this one is probably pretty good too. Let's go ahead and put a tempo marker on that one. We'll click on it and then we'll adjust this. Now, do I want this beat three to be all the way right there or just have that line up? It's probably gonna be fine. Um, let me make sure the click track's going. Okay, there's our click track. So let's listen from here. Okay, so we probably sh should make this go over a little bit more. So let's click on that and let's make it even slower here. So it's going down all the way down to 47 beats per minute. Okay, 
Okay, cool. Now, if we really wanted to, we could probably make this double so you're hearing eighth notes and not just quarter notes. But that's, eh, it's not really that big of a deal. So we'll keep it as it is. So that way when we drag in our MIDI, everything will line up as it should. So what I'm gonna do right now, here's my MIDI at the end of the song and here's the measures that we're looking at. So we got, now even without dragging it in, let's see if it actually changes within easy keys right here. So check this out. See how it changed with the music there? Now, we can probably get this a little bit closer. So I'm thinking that this needs to be over a little bit more. So let's click on this one and we'll just slow this down one little more beat. Then this one, oh, let's listen again, okay? <laughs> Pretty good. I'm going to drag this out a little bit more like that. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, I'm still thinking that it's coming in a little too early. Let's just do it a little bit more. So notice how the piano hits right when the guitar scrapes the chord. And that's what you want. That's You want a nice, steady performance that everything is on sync. And since we're using MIDI, it is no easier than just setting a tempo map and letting the MIDI follow the tempo. That is how I deal with tempo changes in Reaper. I'm sure you can do this same thing in multiple other DAWs. But Reaper is so powerful and so easy to use. And once you know the key commands, it makes it real simple. So once again, if you want to insert a tempo change anywhere, let's just do it at the end of the session here. So you got to do Shift, C, and then you can just put in whatever tempo you want. Let's say we want it at 120 beats per minute, right? So click there. and So everything from here to the right is 120 beats per minute. Everything from the left is still currently at 43. So you can have your band or your solo performer just play whatever they want. And really you can go in and tempo map after the fact. So that way they don't lose their performance and they don't feel like they're tied down to a click track. Especially when you have a song that ebbs and flows in tempo um, like some songwriters like to have. So thanks guys for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, be sure to subscribe down below and click that bell icon so you'll be notified every time I release new content. Thanks guys for watching. I'm Dr. McFarland. I will see you in the next video. Keep rocking.